Thanks for joining me once again. My name is Rose Peter Graham. You're on to Rose on all sides. As usual, a lot has been happening. And um, we'd like to start the program with saying um, it's so sad we lost someone as great as um, Arita Franklin. This is what life is all about. You're born that we all die some days, the debt we all owe, the queen of soul has gone to be with the Lord. May our soul rest in peace. Songs like, where are you tonight? Like, respect. And there's this popular one she sang in the 90s, if I could remember. I gave you heart, I gave you time, gave you soul, cause this love was mine. I mean, we can never forget songs like that. May our soul rest in peace. May our soul rest in peace. Several messages have been pouring in from fans around the world. The family is completely overwhelmed with the amount of love that they are getting. It's so sad, but this is life. Rest in peace, Arita Franklin. And um, for those of us who are wondering if the most talk about politician presently in Nigeria now. Who am I talking about? Dr. Bukola Saraki, the Senate president, is going to contest um, for the position of, um, of course, the presidency. Um, he has just made known that he's seriously thinking about it. He might be considering it, but um, not yet. And I remember a few weeks ago when he said he is seriously considering moving from the APC to the PDP, in a few days, he was back to the PDP. So if he's talking about seriously considering it, my guess is as good as yours. He might be wanting to go head to head with President Momo Dubuari. But the main question is this, which party is he going to be? The PDP? There are a lot of other strong personalities he might have to battle with for him to clinch that ticket for the party. And also there's a breaking news. Yes, political party has just been announced by INEC to be part of the political parties that will be running for the 2019 election. Yes, electorate solidarity to make Nigeria greater again. And of course, you know that Alistair Shriode would be running on this ticket for that party. And um, something else, the crisis in the APC seems to be unending. Yes, um, you know that the APC are looking for a way to impeach the present Senate president. They're asking him to vacate the, um, the seat. And then they're wondering who is going to be the man who's going to be there, because since they have a majority in the House, we have Ahmed Lawal, who is the majority leader, and of course, the former minority leader, Gus Willow Pabu, who recently um, defected to the APC. So the House seems to be divided. Who would they support to be the next Senate president? I don't know. I'm really seriously thinking that Pabu might be the one because they might be thinking of compensating him you know, for the fact that he had to leave the almighty PDP down to the APC. So he should get something for for leaving, but I, but I then think again, if I'm allowed to, that Ahmed Lawa deserves that position because he has been gone in for it. Okay, two weeks ago, the youths of the Igbo ambassadors had a fantastic outing. They had this barbecue event and brought families, friends, Farah and Nair, and you know, yes, truly was there, and I brought back these pictures. The youth of the Igbo community in the United Kingdom put up a brilliant show of colorful sights, 
sound and flavor to light up the summer hair as their annual barbecue event came to life. The ambassadors in the UK, spurred by the need to project the rich Igbo culture of the eastern part of Nigeria, organized this event for the purpose of bringing families and friends together to meet and have fun. The annual event, which is in its second year, has continued to attract the Igbo natives from across the United Kingdom. From bringing unity among the boys in the UK, we have the bigger interest of bringing development in the southeast. We want to be able to organize Igbos around the UK and let them to go back home in the middle of the South East. We want to work with the government of the South East of Nigeria and to see how we can do private investment and bring the South East into a viable economy in Nigeria. The sky is our limit really, because the unique selling point of the club is that we want to merge social welfare with culture, Without the fear of discussing the, the salient issues that affect Ndibo in particular and Nigeria in general. The purposes are many, but I'm going to tell you three. One is creating an identity. If you don't say who you are, nobody knows who you are. You cannot work with the community you live in, you are not there. If you don't progress with your sensual community, which is the world, you are not there. So they are taking all three of them on board. And I'm supporting that. Sorry. Happy, there are very many young children, very young ones, literally young ones, enjoying themselves. And I'm happy that wherever they are, According to the founder, who is the immediate past president and the present president, this group is one with not just a global interest, but that of cultural orientation amongst Igbo men, women, and the Igbo at heart. Speaking the Igbo language is just one of the ways of passing the message of cultural orientation and development. Young age from for 35 of years. Every year, you never know. You know, they over. 
Okay, you can see 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 you you can see 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 you can you can see you can you can you can and again, just like I said, there was music, dance, and smiles, which gave way to a warm, friendly oriented atmosphere for relaxation and merriment. In all, love was expressed. The essence of togetherness, growth, and ultimately imbibing and sustaining the Igbo culture in many generations. Okay, thanks for staying with us. If you're just joining us, you're watching Bros on All Sides. And that was a beautiful outing. I was glad I was invited and I was there. You could invite us to your events, parties, weddings, awards, and we'll be there to cover it. Give it up some good packaging and, of course, show it to the world. Okay, today on the program, we're going to talk about something you know or maybe you've been overlooking. But we're trying to bring it back to your attention. Social media digital marketing there's a lot of money to be made in these areas i mean you get on social media every day what do you do on it do you stand there i mean do you go there you chat and chat you argue and then you fight and all the things you do i mean political talks religious issues is that what you spend your time doing on social market? I mean, on social media, I have a fine gentleman here with me in person of Sam Onibaju, who is a certified content marketing specialist, a certified direct responsive writing specialist, and author of 37 business thoughts. He's going to be talking to us today about how we can make money with digital marketing, especially for beginners. Thank you very much for joining me, Sam. Thank you. Nice to be here. Yes, it's so, so good um, to have you. Yeah. You've been flying high, talking business everywhere. <laughs> Trying to, yes. <laughs> <laughs> indeed, indeed. It's good. So now I want you to tell us, I mean, for the layman, what is digital marketing? Good question. Mm. Um, well, digital marketing is, it, it is marketing, but it's marketing that takes place on a digital platform and by digital we mean it's not manual it's not printing off flyers it's not knocking on doors it's not giving out banners or posters it's it's things that you can do online things that you can do via the internet and it's uh, it's not just as simple as an email it's a bit more specialized because with digital marketing comes interactions which means that with digital marketing you can send out a message to a group and you can find out if they're responding to the message, if they've opened the message. You can, um, you can title a yeah. generic message to individual people. You can focus on a postcode. If you're in Africa, you can focus on a state. You can focus on the local government. You can focus on a country. So with digital marketing, you will use the internet to actually target. Because you know with marketing, uh, you can give out um, generic flyers or generic information and you can hope that the right people get it but with being digital you can be specific you can actually go for the people that you want you can go for a gender you can say I only want these I only want women yes. to see this message I want women that are oh. aged between 19 and 40 to see it I want them to be in the London borough of Camden I want them to see it at 8 a.m. before they take their children to school. I want them to see it at 3.15 when they pick up their children. Such specification. Yes. You can be that detailed. You can, and the beauty is that you can set this once and go on holiday. You can set it and say, do this Monday to Friday. On the weekend, uh, we know they're going to this particular market. They're going to Westfield, Stratford. Send the message to Westfield. So if they look at their phones, in Westfield and they open it up that's what they would see so they're going to realize that, that the message is following them so oh, I mean I'm in Stratford I'm in my house in North London this message I've come to Stratford it can but, but, follow but, but, you doesn't that bother on the data the data protection that <laughs> they issued um, 
Facebook had with analytical, Cambridge analytical? Mm, yes and no. But, but you know, the problem is that the world has changed forever. We're not going backwards. We're going forwards. This is the way. The, the issue they had was because people you know, being intrusive yes, and people because, being you know, lawless. For, for me, the mm -hmm. moment I check up something mm -hmm. on the internet, mm -hmm. maybe I check up wigs or maybe a particular wristwatch, okay. and before I knew it, look, mm -hmm. there's a particular boot I checked on. It was 350. <laughs> I mean, you know, because mm -hmm. I love to wear boots mm -hmm. during the winter. I like stylish ones. Mm -hmm. And the moment I checked on it... Mm -hmm. the, once I go, let me, I, I even want to read the Bible on Google, <laughs> they, I am getting this. That's really, it. I've been shown these books. That is it. That, that is typical digital marketing, following you, understanding okay. who you are and following you. Now, now, the question is, you have seen that, but in life, you, everyone has to ask themselves a question. Are you the person that is doing the selling or are you the person that's being sold to? If you are doing the selling, you become cash rich if you are being sold to you become cash poor so let's not let's not really debate about the digital marketing let's debate about where do you want to be it's almost like saying do you want to be a tenant or a landlord okay do you want to be uh the the boss or the person that's applying for the job so and people would say yes i want to be the boss i want to be the landlord therefore you want to be the person that is using digital marketing not being used Okay. You don't want to be the person that goes to Facebook and says, oh, look at this, let me buy it. Look at that, let me buy it. Okay. You want to be the person that is putting yes. those things there so that other people can buy it. Okay, so now we have Facebook, Instagram, Instagram yes. Snapchat, mm -hmm. Twitter, like a billion and one of yes. them out there who's trying to get as big as Facebook and the rest. Mm -hmm. Um, which one of them can I use? Uh, should, I, should I wait for a recommendation or there could just be one that I, if I can put my product on good question on you, you know all of these platforms you can use any platform but platforms cater to ages you know so when you're dealing with very young people so i would say probably below 24 a lot of them below 24 to up to maybe like 12 years old they love snapchat yeah that's what they love but then there's, there's, a, there's, there's, there's a spillover they also use instagram so the question really is who as a beginner do you want to position your message to? So if you're selling um, things to children, well there's, well, there's the child that will use it, but then there's the person that's actually going to buy it. That's the parent. So the yes. parent that will actually, that has the money to spend is not on Snapchat. The parent is on Instagram, is on Facebook. But the person that probably wants to use it is on the Snapchat. So you have to understand that... Um, <clears throat> You can create awareness on Snapchat, but when you're talking about the commerce, the business there, put it on Instagram and on Facebook and get it targeted because that's where the parents that will spend the money are. Is email marketing still effective? Good question. Email marketing is effective, but there's a, there's a deeper question. The question is, if you do not have people's email addresses, how do you do email marketing? Okay. That, that's the real question. And this is where digital marketing comes in again. If you do not have people's email addresses and you want to get their email addresses, you can get it ethically without breaching GDPR. The ethical approach is through using a digital pipeline that you can place on your Instagram or you can place on your Facebook. Okay. So you can engage up to 7 billion people through these portals and then you work to convert them from people that are just looking at your pictures and listening to you to people that become interested in what you do so if you look at the screen right now uh. that was me um i put together a video and in yes. the video i gave a lot of information so everyone that wanted to listen to that information played the video listened to it and they made a choice the choice was i don't want to listen to this guy anymore or okay. the choice is i want to listen to him i'm going to put my details in and once they put their details in then they've given me, freely given me their email and their names so then I can move them on in my system. And that's what anybody that has Facebook can do. Anybody can do that. Okay. So what are the common mistakes that I could make if I want to get into digital marketing? Right. Number one, not knowing what you're doing and assuming that it's just Facebook. Just as, uh, it's Facebook now. Everybody has Facebook. You can do it. That's number one. Assuming that you know it all without being trained, 
Facebook, when you're dealing with um, digital marketing, Facebook is not designed for personal profiles. So when you have your personal page, you're not meant to do business on it, and the business will never really succeed there, except you're just um, engaging your friends. So with a personal page, you have friends that follow you. They become your friends. You have 5,000 friends. You can only market to those 5,000 and their friends. If you have a business page, you may have... 10 followers or 10 likers, but you have access to up to 2 billion people. How? This is through digital marketing. There's a, you see, Facebook, Facebook is a community. There's 2 billion people around the world using it. If you want to access them, you then have to follow the instructions. One, have a product or affiliate with a product. When I say affiliate, I mean even if you, for example, uh, don't have a product of yours but you want to sell something you can very easily you can very easily um, look at somebody else's product and say well Rose does this lovely hair how much is your hair how much do you sell it for 200 pounds and someone <laughs> says well if I buy it off you to sell how much will you do and you say well if you buy it off me I'll sell it to you for <laughs> 120 and then you can sell it on that's affiliate marketing I like that it's a good thing you mentioned my hair because um, this is actually done by Papil and Camille hair beauty limited and um, they are also thinking of fully utilizing it really Actually, they, they do with their websites okay they do have a website mm -hmm. and people you know they get on then they buy pay online okay. then they okay. deliver and similar stuff that, that, and then they, that, yeah. yeah they mm -hmm. do next day delivery mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so that is that similar N no not exactly do you know what mm -hmm. it is that's a fantastic thing mm -hmm. it's a fantastic thing that they have a website people can buy on yes but People have to know their website. If they don't know their website, there's no market. Okay. What I'm saying is people that do not know... So are you saying the website needs to be marketed on all the other social media platforms? No, no. I'm saying that we're, because we're, we're... Okay, what I'm saying is that when you deal with digital marketing, yes. what you're doing is you are sending artificial intelligence, you're sending bots into the world the bots leave your website. They go to other people's places and go and tell them to come and look at you. So we, when you have a website, if people do not go to your website, that's it. If people come good. This way I'm describing, the bots go to other people's website and start to engage them. People become interested through the type of videos I showed on Facebook or on Instagram. They look at it and they think, so for example, if I was... If I was selling hair, the company you mentioned, I wouldn't then say, come and buy my hair. I say, no. I would say, I'm going to show you five ways to keep your hair healthy. I'm going to show you three ways to comb your hair to make sure your, your wigs last forever. Okay. I'm going to show you two ways to moisturize your hair. I'm going to give, you, give away shampoo worth £100 for your hair. People want that. Okay. Then when they start to inquire about that, for them to have more, they need to give their information. When they ah. give their information, then from there, you can start to drive them from that point to where you want to take them to. Isn't that looking complicated? It's very simple. Okay. It's, it's very simple. We're going to go for a break. We'll okay. come back and keep All talking right. about it. Because for me, it's beginning to look alien. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to take this break. And of course, when we come back, we're going to open the lines just in case you want to find out about this. And there's something else I need to let you know. Sam has a special offer for those who are interested in learning digital marketing is going to open a whole new vista for you you can't imagine what you could actually you know gain or get from beauty hair <laughs> From special until the end of August. Five pack Brazilian 10 to 20 inches plus closure for only £120. Closure 12A grade 10 inches 10 pounds, 20 inches 20 pounds. A grade frontal 10 to 20 inches start from 25 pounds plus free next day delivery 
With Pape and Camille, you have the freedom to be really gorgeous.